Hello, and good whatever relevant time of the day it is. It is currently sort of close to morning on this end, so I guess that's... I mean, that's a thing. Alright, back to this, back to this. So, um... Right, wasn't quite sure if Sigurd here was on our team or not. Oh, I guess not. Uh, ideally, I'd like to prevent him from going that way, so we'll go ahead and drop one of those. I guess Pants is just going to deal with all of this by himself. Um, and more than likely, I'm probably just going to have him completely wall off this night and ignore him. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, we need one more Phalanx. Yeah, so I'll have him go down, poke that Terranite, drop a Phalanx. Nah, that's, he's too far away for that. Uh, well, crap. You can just go deal with... No, the annoyances on the left are pretty much taken care of. They're not really going to serve this fight anywhere. Oh well. Oh well. Moving on. But you know, I was mentioning a couple parts ago. When I was going down, finishing... Well, doing the final exam, more or less, for this uh, dog we were training. And oh boy, I think uh, I think the the happy girl might well have failed harder than any dog that we've ever had. Um, like I, I should mention, like they their score during their uh, uh, their examination. Nice, nice three there, buddy. Uh, their score during their examination doesn't actually you know go and say, oh, you know, the, the failure, they're kicked out of the program or whatever. It's literally just something along the lines of well. You know, it will keep this in mind when they go in for proper training. Like, no one, with with exception to some medical emergency or something, no one just gets straight up eliminated uh, based off not doing well on the thing. But still, starting off with three outright fails on self-control is kind of embarrassing. Uh, Pug, what are you doing? Alright, back. Yeah, one of the dogs decided to start crumpling around in some stuff. Wasn't great. Any dang ways, back on happier topics. Um, by the way, the, the crumpling around on stuff, not during the examination. I mean, that literally just was a thing that happened. Then he was like, oh, plastic bags, let me roll around in them. These are great. It was mostly just making an annoying noise. You know, what can you do? So, point being... Maybe don't be ridiculously late to an appointment. Uh, basically, like feeling a little bit like a failure today because kind of the reason it happened was over a stupid series of events. So I end up. So basically, there's a whole bunch of um, like kids' clothes and toys and whatever else uh, that we're going and picking up for new kiddo. So one of them. Well, th there were supposed to be two stops that day, and I couldn't really schedule any other time. Uh, then for them to just kind of happen whenever I could uh, on my way out of town. So, you know, I end up doing that. All seems well and good, and then it, you know, I, I follow one of them. And it's it's on the way out of town, you know, I, I'm looking at the map, doesn't seem completely out of the way or anything. And uh, I get there, you know, everything seems fine. I go on my way out, look at my phone, like, well... There is no signal whatsoever out here. No GPS signal, no nothing. Maps can't connect. Maps can't do anything. Like, usually I have my uh, maps downloaded. But even in this case, it was like, well, I guess something must have gone wrong. I don't know if it dumped the data during the last time that I, uh, that I ran an update or something. But for whatever friggin' reason, it's like, th the maps are just gone. There's no GPS. There's no map whatsoever. I can't even manually get my way out of there. There's friggin' nobody in this town in the middle of friggin' Farmville, and... Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly a fun time. So finally, you know, I end up taking random turns that I can vaguely remember until I get out of the place. And I just see, like, 15 missed messages from my wife. Like, oh, answer your phone, why don't you have to answer your phone, whatever, and like, going and looking and trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And it turns out this appointment that I was going to, that I was expecting to have a lot of extra time for, 
suddenly needed to be like 45 minutes earlier. So I'm, you know, 45 minutes out. They want to start right now. End up booking it harder than anyone's ever booked it over some random uh, friggin' country road. <laughs> end up finally getting there ridiculously late. It's just a downpour, but they end up doing this exam in the rain. You know, get just enough time to settle this dog down. Oh man. It was a crap show. Oh well, oh well. Hopefully she'll do better once they go in. Do, 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 do. Also, I can't remember who Rosenbach is. Mm. I'm gonna have to go look through the thing to see who Rosenbach is. He's like, oh yeah, we'll spare you. Ignore the fact that this guy is completely surrounded. But, oh well. I guess he's gonna go off that way. He's got some loot to steal. Well, I, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. He's gonna just get taken out by the archers anyway. Uh, might as well save Bess over here, since, again, uh, anyone losing a life is just gone for good. And that's the way this run's going, so... I'll do that. Yeah, after... After playing the different versions over and over, I still feel like, um... Like, when it comes to OV, that it might do a little bit better with uh, One Life mode. Uh, the original definitely didn't... Well, I should say original remake, but, you know. Um, yeah, hopefully these archers hurry the hell up, because... Uh, right now, Sestina's about to freaking bleed out over there. And I can't use Denim for that. Right, come on. Actually, no. Uh, we'll fill it here. You can take care of it, right? You cannot. Mm. Uh, do you have Innervate? Okay. Looks like... Yes, she should hopefully... No, one of the other archers will also get a shot. Okay. And they should be okay in general. Because it looks like Aerosol is going to get another shot before, uh, before Sestina moves. As long as nobody does an item heal, we're basically good here. You know, for the longest time, uh, with that whole pushback ability, I could have sworn uh, that there was some way to, uh, to potentially get a crit on top of a Tremendous. But it turns out I was wrong. It's just a slight variance on damage that can happen. Can't actually get a crit on it, though that would be insane. It's actually already a little bit insane that you can get that, um... Uh, what's it? That, that you can get a uh, crit off of a Dragon Slayer and stuff like that. Alright, go ahead and smack this guy, get him out of the way. One less thing to deal with. There we go. No items healing, healing yet. Fine, and we got perfect weather. Not that we really need it anyway, because we got a perfect shot coming up. Our storm. They're getting close. Okay. They're coming in with a comeback here. Actually, wait a minute. Go for an anchor, just in case this guy has a deflect. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, the leader's a professional, I guess. I mean, we're gonna leave. Someone should probably go scrape up, uh, sus oh, what's her face? Uh, yeah, Sustina with a spatula. Might want to get on that. Doing a little bit of dying. Probably not gonna look so good on the old, you know, death count thing. And yeah, sure enough, they completely friggin' rocked these five guys. Well, six of them. How is a bit of a question, is honestly even five generics, even in the base game, should have had a had a pretty solid chance here. I don't know if they were just horribly underleveled or what. <clears throat> Actually, come to think of it, you know what? I really want to test that out. I'm gonna have to test out. Um, probably gonna do like Lord Denim, Ozma. Hmm. 
I'm the closest thing to Osby. Because I can't do two of them. I'm gonna have to kind of cheat together a file, but probably gonna do do, do denim, Ozma, and I want to say Bapan, but no. Is he supposed to be an axe guy? Hamilton, maybe. Okay, we'll do Hamilton in his place because he's well. No, he's horribly non-defend. No, it should be Hamilton instead of um, what's his face instead of denim. So. I think for the first AI test, it's going to have to be Hamilton, Ozma, and maybe we can have Fulkert sitting in uh, for Oz, because, yeah, he's kind of fast. Can potentially do that whole thing. Got some extra stats? Yeah. So we'll do that. So we'll, we'll do base game versions of those, and uh, just kind of see how they do. I think that should be pretty fun. And how they do against, like, five generic knights. Sounds like a thing. This has gone only 10 minutes, though, so let's go ahead and save this just in case something goes crazy broken. And go on in here. Do, 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 do. And now we can go pick up some griffins. And we got Merton. Oh, you know what? No, we should have Gildas probably sitting in for uh, Oz. And now we can go to Farampa and get us some freaking griffins, because I've been wanting those for a while. So... Yeah, next step is to go over here, go to Bode, find his dad, and that should be the first of the Dark Knight fights, which should be pretty darn fun, because they're getting kill moves. Getting unique ones, anyway. Um, these guys, uh, they can't use their geese arms yet, can they? No. So wait a sec. Curious, what was that description again? An added counterweight that shifts balance to the rear, extending its use. Well, that's, I guess, the full pike extension, or description, anyway. Okay, so yeah, all weapon types, right, have their own thing, except for uniques. Gotcha. Which makes sense. Alright, um... Yeah, so let's just make a quick little trip to Farampa here. Um, is anyone a Beastmaster? Master, you're a white. Well, of course you're a white knight. How am I even questioning that? Um, <laughs> somebody must have been a beast master at some point. Right. How did you learn those abilities, though? No. All right. Well, I want Habram as a beast master. I kind of want to make Murden a Beastmaster. Just because he's kind of reminding me of, um... What's his face? Uh, Pratt from, uh... From Jurassic World. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just because I was hearing about it not too long ago. Alright, so he needs 200 points. Yeah, maybe we'll just off-screen that mess. Or... Turbo mode it. Mode. So if you ever actually, why don't I just give somebody else that ability? Like you, for example. I can easily just have you switch over to a beast tamer and go ahead and do that sort of thing and have it all taken care of right away. Change classes right quick here. Learn tame. No, subdue. Uh, tame is the dragon one. Change you back into a knight. How was that problem all well and good? See what auto equip looks like. Not bad, actually. Would have expected a lot worse out of that. Oh yeah, we get parry from that. Should get parry from the spear. Do you have parry assigned? 
Yes, so two plus one. All right, because he's got a long spear, so he wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have the parry. Though I really should give him a shorter spear then, just be the parry master. I don't know why I'm going there when I'm trying to go over here. So, one vision for Rampa. For one thing, archers out the nose, just like original. Um, yeah, you can get griffins here, so leave those up. Probably take those out. Leave a couple frontliners here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's get rid of Aracel here. Put our knot in. Let's get some debuffs going. If, basically, if you go up and then you go right, you can potentially get yourself like four griffins and one little uh, one little trip here. Really good for farming them, if that's what, uh, what you're trying to do. Right now, I actually just want them as party members. Because they are redonkulously good. That's what we're going to try and accomplish. Now, ideally, I'd like to have a squad of three of them. Is it fair to call them a squadron? I don't know. Probably. Okay, archers can do a pretty good job picking away at them, as you'd expect. Uh, luckily, we didn't get too bad of a spawn here. They're usually going to have a cleric and all that around, but conveniently they didn't start with one. Not to mention... Yeah, you know what? No, just all in all, this is a really good spawn. Because <clears throat> especially if you get the douchey cleric that ends up hiding in the back there, it is annoying as crap. Nobody wants to deal with that. Still no idea why I don't have counter hit on her. Or why she can't seem to figure out how blocking works. Okay. I'm gonna drop a little bit of peck damage. Don't you love when Dark Knights can actually, you know, take damage? That's one of those ones that I'm still kind of, uh, still kind of out as far as what they were thinking with base game with them. I was like even trying really hard to make one of them work, like giving them full boulder, like absolutely everything made of boulder, right? A ring for casting and everything else, and I was like, okay, they still can't do the job. <laughs> they still can cast with like 20% accuracy and then do one damage about 90% of the time. So I don't know. That one's... that one's still a mystery that evades me. Poke. <laughs> oh, Renev. For a second there I thought it was Reeve. Which would have been interesting for reasons that would be a little bit hard to explain. Actually, uh, I was planning to do a uh, full Griffin run pretty soon here. I just... Kind of expecting the next patch to happen, and yeah. Uh, it sounds like Mr. Rakes uh, agreed to help put together a code, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That should be fun. Apparently the uh, the head griffin was going to be like a, a red one that shoots fire. <laughs> just because why not? Because y you basically can see those in the game. Those are just the unique variants that you normally don't get access to. Well, that would be fun to see. Actually, it sounds like there's going to be that uh, access to that sort of thing coming up um, for uh, Ocean and specifically the dragon that she comes with as well. Um, it sounded like uh, that was potentially going to be one of them sweet spellcasty ones. Because again, you see them in game, you just can never recruit one. Which, you know, it's not like they're that busted or anything, they're just really cool. <laughs> they're really cool and you aren't allowed to have one, that's the rule. Okay, uh, unfortunately, Denim's not going to get his turn on time. Please bind. Didn't. Okay. I have Bess here go and deal with all the rest of this nonsense. So you're going to face here, because there's a chance... Ooh! That sucks. Please don't die. She died. Okay. I don't even know if I have a way to bring her back. Cool. 
Don't want to trans that. This guy can get stunned. Join us! Oh. He said no. Okay. So, not going ideally. Actually, a lot of these are going to end up not going ideally, unfortunately. Why are you so resistant? <laughs> Go ahead and drop some rocks on you folks. Why don't you drop his recruit percentage up to about 70%-ish somewhere. Do, 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 do. Okay, 108, 102. It's times like this that I'm suddenly wishing I had the base game siege bow. Things, <laughs> thing is, well, like so many other things, so stupidly broken. It's hilarious. So yeah, base game siege bow. In case you never took advantage of the crafting commands or whatever else, is this weird case where. Once you end up getting to, I would kind of call it mid to late game uh, type of equipment, there's this weird instance where the siege bow takes over for a very long time as kind of the, the standard. Like, it's just the one that you end up using on whoever you have and pretty much until you start getting elemental stuff. And it's, well... <laughs> It binds. Like, as soon as it hits, it binds. And there's another one that shackles. I want to say it's the one right after it. But the thing is, if you use Tremendous, which, you know, base game is ridiculously cheap, uh, something that I found out when uh, when messing around with the uh, the guaranteed kill move, um, I, this was a few patches ago, uh, Cursed Weapons used to have a guaranteed uh, kill thing. But, uh, but yeah, no, I... You could actually just guarantee the secondary effect on anything that you used if you used a 100% hit chance move. Because it automatically set the uh, the proc for it to always happen. So, yeah, instead of being random, you could just guarantee that thing. So, anytime that it uh, hits anything uh, with Tremendous, that thing is automatically bound. Meaning that you can keep stuff out of the fight pretty much indefinitely. Because odds are they're not recovering from that by the time that you manage to get to them. Also, do I have anyone that can use items, or is Best just dead now? I should have really checked on that. Okay, Sansa. You can sacrifice yourself. Uh... Hey, you know what? Let's prevent you from doing your stuff. Yeah, Gravity Flux is way more useful now. Not even a question about that. Anyway, we're going to hold off on reviving her for a little bit, though. These guys are kind of just bumbling about. Unfortunately, we're not going to have another archer. We really, 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 really need that one to come over here and get recruited. Okay. Here's the thing. Pants is going to stun the other one. There we go. Drop one of these. Stun. Love that that is such a high chance to hit. I don't think it's guaranteed, but still, excellent chance. Okay, got a new friend. Now you are going to try to get a couple shots off and then sacrifice yourself. That, no, that, maybe. I uh, should probably pop you over here because I don't think that one can hop down while they're leadened. I think that's their caster, so I think if he uses their ability, it's just going to reflect to kill him. Not sure on that, but it seems likely. Okay. This seems like a worthwhile expenditure right here. Get that health from him. It's fine. Okay, you know what? I don't even want to chance it. Goodbye. next? Uh, where are your odds? Already 
Give it at least a low percentage shot at first. I know we're reducing its max odds later, but it's fine. Okay, you can't do anything. Uh, please bind him. No. Man, the odds of that are so low. Yes. Sans will get a chance. Why don't you go ahead and smack this guy? Done? No. But he's gonna continue leveling up like a crazy bastard. Yep. Now you need to get Bess up before she dies. The only thing we have of that, and unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna make it to Sarah on time then. Ah, you suck. I think it's about time to start thinking about abandoning this thing. Friggity fudge. Mm. How hard can you hit this thing? Pretty darn hard. Okay. So another shield and a subdue. Should work here. No, it's dead. We're almost dead. Very, 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 very close to dead. Okay. Dagger 22. Meteor 2. Okay. Yeah, just stab this guy in the head. Done deal. Please recruit. Okay. Now they need to pile on this guy and kill him. And Sarah can be saved. No, she can't. Crap! No, you won't. You just died. By a second. Man, I screwed that up. I said, got griffins. <laughs> uh, well, rip Sarah. Or, you know what? I think I'll just keep her around. She's just shuffled out of the party. We'll just have a death pile down here until it gets to the point where they're all just gone. Or, you know what? There we go. Wait, what? Um, okay, class level descending, and unit number then lives. That's stupid too. No. Do that. Manual sort. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why you can't do a thing where, like, you have them all by their numbers, but then also just reassign them in a different spot. You know, without going through all that. So, like, if they lose life, they just drop to the very bottom. Say if I... I think that's life, as in just life, life, not... <sighs> Whatever, screw it. Who cares? Alright. <clears throat> Time to get number three. No, Sarah, you died. I'm sorry. Um, get one of you in here. Party's still probably good. You almost died. Actually, I think we're just gonna go spears. There we are. There's number three. Thankfully, they all come in with a pretty low loyalty here. They can usually do some pretty easy recruits. Bind? No bind.
You have 10, you can do Shock Lance. That's actually really close to being able to be recruited already. Douche. Come on, 4% odds. What? <laughs> oh man, that never happens. Those old timey 4% odds, though. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is absolutely freaking beautiful. Okay, I. <laughs> oh man. Ah. <sighs> You know what? This is a good day. <laughs> I just had to save Stata because this feels like those kind of, like one of those kinds of things, like the moment that you know, that you absolutely know that there's going to be an emulator crash right after that. Also, this guy is a silver bow. Anyway, back to the previously scheduled wholesale murder of these guys. <laughs> I like to think warlocks are always just kind of like humming along as they walk through. They're just casually throwing around all the stuff. It doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage, but they're pretty good at surviving. And they're just kind of always hanging out, you know? In OV, they're always just kind of around. They're just, they're just doing their thing, slowly assisting and, you know, helping out here and there and everywhere. Also, they have no rocks anymore, which makes a lot of sense. Really appreciate that change. Yeah, don't you just hate when you send out your frontliner and they're like, well, I want to join you guys instead. And I turn against these guys. Apparently they've been treating me like crap. And, uh, yeah. Then, then you make, you uh, just have to suddenly deal with the griffin you sent out. Who decided to join them despite 4% odds. Ah, that was beautiful. Bloodbath. Yeah, go ahead and heal yourself. Just eat this guy. There's Merwin. Your skirmisher is going to be a problem, but casters are a bigger one. I like that griffins are kind of like the, the anti-caster at this point. Bang. Not good. I need to get his knife skill up. I need to get him all shanky-like. Also, I should probably be focus firing these a lot more. Because <clears throat> they're just retreating with no real problem. Again, you can probably get some stuns off here. Mm, I don't know if that'll actually do anything to help. odds anyway, but whatever. I go ahead and eat this guy, because he's a problem. Or, wow. Do all the damage. That works too. <laughs> 12, 35. None of these are terribly tempting. Alright. Shank, please. Sound like I'm dying because my throat's all dry now. This has been like 30 minutes here. Probably gonna be the last one for the time being. Gonna go grind up the griffins and all that after this. <clears throat> and unlike the usual definition that you'd end up getting them for, I don't mean grind them up into crafting materials because that's no longer their only purpose. See, I say that despite actually almost always using griffins, but whatever. I don't like them odds. You know what? Wow, those odds are even worse. Okay. Deal. That leaves four. Wow, you are a dick. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is whenever the patch comes out for, um, for bags to just be picked up and or not be able to be picked up. Because considering that they... M well, they went out of their way to make that a thing in FF uh, TA2. I really don't know why it ended up still being a thing that uh, bags could be picked up in this one. Like in that one, every time you got loot or whatever else, it just dropped on the ground and a little pop-up came up like, Hey, you got crap! And then you just went and put it in your pocket. 
And they specifically had to make a cutscene for the one time that a uh, character ends up going and stealing your loot. Because that should be the only time that it happens. I mean, like, it would be nice if it was that whole thing where if they got a thing, you could go and take it back from them. And or if you left that guy alone, then you wouldn't be able to get it back. But it's always just super annoying once, you know, once you get an item and there's no way you're getting that item again. And, well, the AI just came, comes and drops a guy on there and suddenly you lost that item forever. Actually, you know, it's funny. Um, for all of the severe difficulty in getting the Euros and all the other Wind God stuff in this one, <laughs> I was going through uh, March of the Black Queen recently, and yeah, second friggin' uh, map ended up getting it as just a rando drop. Isn't that when you just go into a town and or you find stuff buried, and they're like, you've got a thing, and every time you go through it's a random object, and just picked up a friggin' Euros. Just, just kind of sitting there. Not sure why. It was just buried on this random island. Well, whatever works. So pretty sure we're about to lose Merwin. Why don't you go relay? Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. Okay, here's the deal. You take a step right there. Canopus is going to do swiftness. Okay. On swiftness. Do I have enough? Do I even have it on? Fudge, I do not have it on him. Um, one tile off. How on earth do you not have swiftness yet? <laughs> Drop a blessing stone or something by chance? No. Never mind, he's still gonna get it. You dick! Why did I why did I not use Tabula Rasa on him? I'm a moron. Okay. For some reason, I thought special moves couldn't do that. Why is a mystery. As in, all things considered, it doesn't actually make any sense. Okay. Just... Just fix him. We lost, like, three units on this trip. No wonder I completely forgot about this guy. He's over here meditating, so he's taking forever. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be rewarded with a six foot hole in the ground, bud. Sorry. <sighs> Reflect. <laughs> no. For once, no. Mm. Not gonna lie. I am annoyed at my own stupidity because neither of those last two I should have gone anywhere. What I really needed to do was pay attention to the turn order. Okay. So, all these guys are now dead. Rip and in my incompetence. So, all in all, I'd say that could have maybe gone a little bit better. 
I think it's time for Spencer to forget this and become a fencer. Spencer the fencer. Hmm. Maybe start training somebody else up as a knight. I think I might have Bess here do it. Yeah, her skills aren't, like, terribly going anywhere yet, so... Yeah, you're gonna be a knight. No matter, why don't I just turn her into the Valk? Yeah, let's do that. Where are your stats even? Are you even okay for this? Uh, yeah, actually, she's a caster, so that works out perfectly. Uh, spears, get your pike. You're more or less equipped like she was anyway. Okay. And then let's uh, put you up here. I'm actually just going to leave the ID numbers as they are. Just as a reminder of who came when. Alright, so there we go. So that's that redone. Uh, he's going to be more for hitting. She's going to be more for casting. But she's got the vagrants. Uh, go ahead and put spears on you. And... Ice? Water? I guess we'll go water. Man, she's already got dark, I guess. How much of that can you use? None. Maybe I'll just double tree her. Oh no, she's got demons packed. Interesting. Uh, okay. Water. Purify. Yeah. You can't actually use that. I wasn't 100% sure if they could. But there we go. There's the new party. Gonna need a replacement. Or are not. Well, actually, I guess we already have Bayon for that. Mm. I should put you next to Minerva here. I guess these two are going to get paired up now, even though that's really super awkward. Um, yeah, this looks fine. Okay, sounds good. Then we'll go from there. Alright, anyway, see you next time.